Introducing DexCap, a scalable and portable mocap data collection system for dexterous manipulation. In recent years, data-driven methods have shown promising results in teaching robots dexterous skills. Prior works mostly rely on teleoperation or vision-based motion capture systems. However, teleoperation systems are unportable and expensive to scale up, while vision-based methods are prone to occlusion. This makes us ask, is it possible to find a system that is portable and accurate for collecting dexterous data? We introduce DexCap, a portable mocap system with an RGB camera on the chest, a pair of motion capture gloves, and a SLAM IMU-based tracker to localize the wrist pose. Here is the visualization of the collected data. DexCap captures 3D human hand motion and the RGBD point cloud of the environment making it portable and capable of collecting data in the wild without robot systems. Our goal is to train robot policies with the collected human data. How do we do that? We separate the training process into three phases, action retargeting, visual retargeting, and policy learning. First, we use inverse kinematics to match fingertip positions between human and robot hands. Here we showcase the matching result. To bridge the visual gap, we designed the chess camera to be attachable to the robot workspace. We transform the RGBD data into a 3D point cloud, convert it to the robot operation space, and remove redundant background points. With the retargeted data, we train a point cloud-based policy network. This consists of a point cloud encoder, either point net or perceiver, followed by a diffusion policy to generate robot actions. Our setup includes two 7DOF robot arms and two 16DOF dexterous hands. Here are the trained policy rollouts. The policy is learned with one hour of human mocap data collected with DexCap without the need for teleoperation data. We find that point cloud-based policies can generalize to unseen object geometries. During data collection with DexCap, humans interacted with six objects. The learn policy handles new objects outside of the training distribution. How about more challenging tasks, such as longer task horizons and more fine-grained finger motions? We designed a tea preparation task to stress test our framework. However, we found two failure modes in the learned policy, failing to reach the correct position or stabilize the lid when unscrewing it. This makes us ask how to fix a learned policy with less effort than recollecting all training data. We introduce a human in the loop correction framework with DexCap, which includes residual correction and Tilly operation. In residual correction mode, a human wears dex cap and adds residual wrist action to the policy action, useful for small adjustments. For larger mistakes, we switch to Tilly operation mode to gain full control of the robot. Using these methods, we gather a correction data set, merge it with the original data set, and fine tune the policy model. With as few as 30 human-in-the-loop corrections, our robot completes the challenging tea preparation task, featuring long task horizons and fine-grained finger motions. Our framework also allows the robot to perform human activities, like using scissors to cut paper. We observe a more than 30% improvement in task success rate after fine-tuning with correction data. Point cloud-based policies outperform traditional image-based methods when learning from in-the-wild human data. That's all for my talk. You can find more information on our project website. Thank you.